My name is Mari Bay, the owner of Sweet Serenity Getaways. Today, I'm happy to share with you how I Travify using invoices. So whenever I'm starting with a proposal, of course, I have to start by actually putting a proposal in my Travify account. I'm going to simply import one from my library to save myself some time. And if you don't do this, I highly recommend it is a massive time saver. So today I'm going to use a brand new proposal, no client information, and I'm going to highlight the beautiful body holiday in St. Lucia since I have been working closely with clients on this resort recently. So the template for my proposals typically goes with a hello welcome letter, and then I add in the destination information. I include the resort information afterwards, but we'll get there in just a moment. And I always like to build out my info sections before I actually put in any resort days or any itinerary um, information specifically. So you'll see the basic outline of my proposals is welcome, destination information, resort information, itinerary, travel insurance, pricing, and then contact. Now, as I said, I'm gonna be using body holiday for this one. I do also have a library um, template built in here for body holiday. And if you don't use this library feature, highly recommend you build up your library. It saves a huge amount of time. And so that flight, again, is JetBlue. Easy peasy, import that flight. And then I'm next going to add in the resort information. So lodging, I love Travify for this. It makes my whole life easy. And I would have to double check, but I, if I remember correctly, it's 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. for body holiday. And then we're checking out that day. So you'll notice that it automatically popped into my proposal. At this point, I have a few tours that I would like to import. First, I'm going to import the round trip transfers directly from Viator. This is a, another feature with Travify that I use frequently. So you'll see the product code is right here. And I will simply copy that into the tour section. It will import that product directly into the itinerary and I'll just simply add it in here. Alrighty, so there's our first tour. Now at this point, I am ready to set up my invoice. So I start a new Travify tab and I move it over to the other side of my screen. What I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna auto populate this one. I'm gonna simply put it in since I have two major components that I'm gonna add in travel insurance. So here we're gonna say flights and resort. We'll say body holiday, um, March 10th through 17th, 2026, and JetBlue flights. Typically, I would also put in the flight numbers, but that is obviously completely up to you. As we can see, the price on that package is right here, so I will copy and paste that directly in. We also have our round trip transfers. Now with this one, I do like to copy and paste the exact title since that's the title that's pulled into the itinerary. I believe it does make it a lot easier for clients to understand. The pricing on this one, I work with it pretty frequently. It doesn't typically change. So we won't have to worry about too much of a cost difference on different days. This one comes out to 210. Again, just copying and paste. And then we have the Friday night street party. That one is 33 a person. I have two travelers, so that one's going to be $66. And then lastly, I always put travel insurance. Now on my proposals, I do have a template for travel insurance, which you'll see down here. And I do have my affiliate links to our term right here. So I'm not a travel, I'm not an insurance agent. I'm a travel agent. So I like to give my clients the option to quote on their own pace. However, I do also always include it down here and I don't want that showing. So what we're gonna be looking at here is, let's say I'm gonna quote Arch Rome Wright um, Pro Plus policy. I know I have that one saved and I don't have client data, so I'm gonna put $100 to keep it simple. Now at this point, I do fill in a pricing section which will show directly for my clients. And the reason I do this is because we're still in the proposal um, phase but I build everything out in the proposal phase to keep myself sane once everything is completely finalized. It speeds up my entire process at the end of it. And Ocean Front Terrace. And this is all a lot of copy and paste, but as you can see, it does move very quickly. And I love Travify for that reason. And 
And if you are not utilizing the formatting bar up here, highly recommend you give it a try. You can input tables, um, lists, links, all of the good stuff. Okay. Now, I do also always include travel insurance as a separate line item. However, I do quote everything else in a package price. I'm sure many other agents are the same way. Now, whenever we're looking at this, you can see I have that total price. I simply copy and paste it here. I always highlight it in yellow to make it very clear to my clients what number they're looking at. And then that is the end of it. At this point, I've already sent the proposal off to my clients and they are ready to book. I don't actually send the invoice whenever I send the proposal. I actually send the invoice after it's been approved and I have a chance to reprice it. And whenever I'm repricing, I will update the pricing both in this invoice and I will do it in my proposal as well to keep it clean for my clients. Now, since I have not sent the invoice to my clients at this time, it is still editable. However, at this time with Travify, if you do send it to your clients, it is no longer editable and that is due to PCI compliance. So when I go in and I reprice everything, let's say nothing's changed, we'll keep it as is. Now I can use a payment schedule. So I will say deposit and we'll say that that due date is, we'll give them two days. That should be enough time to figure it out. And then let's say we have a first payment and I'm going to put a random date, let's say, say random date, final payment. I'm going to put in another random date since it's not a client's workflow. So let's say February 10th and you'll see that Travify will automatically pull those in. I'm going to say we have a $500 deposit. Clients told me they would like to make another $2,000 deposit that for their second payment. Perfect. And then it works. Now, I don't attach any terms and conditions to my invoice because whenever I use forms, anytime I send a form, including um, the proposal agreement form, I do have my clients approve my terms and conditions every single time. And as I showed you in the initial proposal, I do include the supplier terms as well. So they are agreeing to all of that before we even reach this step. So at this point, I'm ready to send to my client. I always CC to myself for my own records. Yes, it is in Travify, but I do also keep records within my email workspace. And though it is on my to-do list to save some messages in here, I don't have any. So I'll say, hi, client. I am so excited to send over your invoice and finalize your bookings. Please let me know if you have any questions. Sincerely, and then my name, easy peasy. And at this point, it is now sent to my clients. And that is from start to finish, how I Travify a proposal and how the invoicing makes it that much faster for me.